Um, we're going to go into the De La Hiva position for Nogi. Okay, now a lot of times people won't play De La Hiva and Nogi because of, it makes it really easy if I go deep for him to step back right into the saddle position, okay? So we're not going super deep with this De La Hiva, all right? It's just going to be a short De La Hiva here for now, okay? Just to get some control. So I'm here, I'm grabbing the ankle and my foot's right there. Okay, now, two different ways we're going to do this. One, we rotate all the way into the 50-50 position, okay? And the other one is kind of like chopping it in half when he defends. So we're here. Now, the first thing I want to do here, like I said, I'm not going to get super deep with this De La Hiva. This is to control him so he's not like going crazy and passing. I'm going to dig the underhook on his leg here, okay? So I've got to get that underhook in this position. Now, the first one we're going to do from here is I'm just rotating under. I'm going to go all the way to the 50-50. So this, the way this works is I'm kind of switching my feet. When I'm coming here, this foot's coming over, and I'm rotating all the way under to the 50-50 position here, okay, and coming down. Okay, now I'm in outside Senkaku, okay, I can come here and collect my double. okay. So we're here, we're in our De La Hiva position, locked, okay, I get my underhook on the leg. This is a great place to control. This also makes it hard for him to do this back step here. Okay, When he's there, he's giving me some options versus me throwing a deep De La Hiva and him taking my leg. So I'm here. Okay, Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate around here. You can control the wrist too if you want to to keep him off of the leg for now. It's preference. Okay, When I come under, this foot like lightens up. Over. So I'm not keeping it super tight. I'm coming under here and like I'm switching my legs. Okay, Now from here, I'm bringing this one around to the inside. Okay, so here I come to the inside, come up on his hip. Okay, now from here I like to take this hand. Okay, so it's like I, I can push on the bottom and pull on the top here. I can bite down here on his hip, pull this open, and there's his leg. As long as I've got this knee turned this way, his heel is going to be sticking up. Okay, if I don't, he can try to hide it this way. Okay, so I keep in this knee pit turned up, exposing the heel. When I reach back for the heel, I'm not just trying to get right on it. I'm trying to go back, pinch the toes of my armpit, I'm, like I'm compressing my arm like this, putting it right where my watch would be. I'm just setting it right there, okay? The other hand comes over, grab my thumb of the gable grip. This hand, don't have it way down here. Come in tight, really close to the joint here. All right, right there, I'm squeezing with the legs, then I can just rotate my body very easily, okay? Be very careful when you do that. Don't pull on it, okay, just tight. You just barely torque the body, okay? So it's, it's a little bit of work, you know, spinning under, but once you get the feel of it, it's, it's pretty smooth, okay? Do so you need to see that again? I, I'd like to see just the roll. Okay. Once. Okay, just the roll part. Coming around this way, and I'm like Xing in his leg. Okay, so I'm like an X guard on his leg. Then I'm coming around. I like to come from here, I like to switch my hands, pull my head under. So see, I'm like still an X here. Boom, I come up, grab the knee, right leg, lock the head, open it up, sweep the leg, collect, lift.